Slager is now facing murder charges, and tonight we wanted to know if he could actually be convicted based on that very incriminating cell phone video. Elise Coulter speaks with an expert on the matter. We asked use of force expert and former officer Bill Parsons to watch this cell phone video of officer Michael Slager shooting and killing Walter Scott. In my 26 year career, I've been in lots of lots of circumstances like this where I've, you know, tussled on the ground with someone and you get up and they're running away and you just get up and you chase them. Parsons says just looking at the video, the answer is clear. It appears to me that there's no justifiable reason to use this level of force. The officer had other options available to him. The reason he said is because the suspect was running away. Even if the two scuffled on the ground at one point, Parsons says the officer still isn't justified. I don't think any shot should have been fired, <laughs> quite frankly. So, uh, you know, I think each shot after the first one is just, uh, 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 just makes it worse. We also asked him to watch the dash cam video of the traffic stop. <laughs> where Scott got out once and then a few seconds later took off running. This is pretty much a standard traffic stop. He's used very standardized procedures. Everything was fine according to Parsons until this moment. For Parsons, there's only two reasons why an officer would shoot at a fleeing suspect. It's because he presents an immediate risk to either the officer or the public at large. Something Parsons believes wasn't the case that day. Reporting in Miamisburg, Elise Coulter, Fox 45 News. Now, Parsons believes that officers should be held to a higher standard because of the training they receive. He believes that Slager has a chance of being convicted of murder.